The Mariners tonight were eliminated from playoff contention, and after the game, Cal Raleigh had some words to say about the Mariners' front office and what they need to do in order for the Mariners to get back to the postseason. Cal said, we've got to commit to winning. We have to commit to going and getting those guys you see other teams go out and getting. Big-time pitchers, getting big-time hitters. We have to do that to keep up. He went on to say, we've done a great job of growing some guys here and within the farm system, but sometimes you've got to go out and you have to buy. That's just the name of the game. We'll see what happens this offseason. Hopefully we can add some players and become a better team. He then said regarding the Rangers, you look over at the other locker room, they've added more than anybody else and you saw where it got them this year. There's more than one way to skin a cat. But going out and getting those big names, people who have done it, people who have been there, people who are leaders, people who have shown time and time again that they can be successful in the league is definitely going to help this clubhouse. It would help this team and maybe help those little things that we need. So Cal talking through some emotions after being eliminated from the playoffs is really just speaking the truth. Now, payroll isn't everything, but it definitely can be an indicator. The Texas Rangers this year are fourth in total payroll in all of baseball. The Seattle Mariners are 18th. And the Mariners' big acquisitions this offseason were trading for Teoscar Hernandez and trading for Colton Wong. Now, if you've been following this channel since the beginning of the season, then you know that I was a fan of the Teoscar Hernandez trade, as well as the Colton Wong trade. I tend to be a glass half full type of guy. The Mariners pitching staff as a whole has been phenomenal this year. They're going to finish third or fourth overall in wins above replacement. As far as the offense is concerned, they're going to be 16th in OPS on base plus slugging. So I commend Cal for these comments that he made, and Cal is an absolute dog. If you watch him throughout the games, He's getting beat up left and right for 162 games. He doesn't miss any games. He's leading the league in home runs for catchers. Like he's been an absolute animal. Some guys might be able to make an impact within your organization, but some checks just have to be written. And if Cal Raleigh is traded this offseason because of these comments, then we have much bigger issues. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know it's been a frustrating end of the season, but I'll keep you posted as soon as there's any more information. Regarding the Mariners, I'll also cover more baseball content and other sports throughout the offseason.